Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. It's Rich. I haven't put out a lot of videos lately and I'll explain why. it has been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that uh, have taken a lot of time. Been outside, you know, spring has arrived slightly, although today filming this, it's April 2nd, we had snow coming down. So, uh, spring is battling uh, mightily with uh, Old Man Winter to, be, uh, to give up its grip. So, um, but we've been working on some stuff. A lot of work outside um, in the, the orchard area, the fruit area, the wildflower area. We have been digging and cutting and burning and getting soil ready and a lot going on. Um, also a lot of stuff going on inside and that's what I want to show you today. Just what we've been doing. Just give you a little progress report, let you know that we're still alive uh, and talk about some things coming up. Uh, we've got a fun live coming up uh, on the 14th. Watch for a video on that because there's going to be some chance for you to win some prizes and stuff. But here's part of our work here. We're going to kind of do a two-part video here real quick. But I uh, want to show you we have been working on potting and getting our seeds going for a whole bunch of different areas. Uh, the vegetable garden, our wildflower uh, monarch, uh, you know, milkweed for monarchs area. Um, there's been a lot of work going on. So, um, people also been asking about, you know, how we do seeds. I, I do have a video out there about uh, doing seeds, but I want to let you know, people been asking, what do you use? You know what? We use miracle Grow potting mix. Um, there's a little bit of fertilizer in that soil. It works great, and it does a slow release to the plants over time. We don't have to do as much uh, fertilizing but it gets them off to a great start. Nice fluffy stuff. So pot, miracle Grow Potting Mix, awesome. If you can find it locally, great. If not, I'll try to put a, a link down below so you can see what we get. Um, let me show you what we've been doing. This is just the stuff that's upstairs. Now we pot our seeds and get them going and we keep them in the window here. This is our south facing window out towards the barn. It gets a lot of sun during the day, even when it's not sunny like today. That solar radiation that's coming through the window heats the soil. You'd be surprised um, what I've, I've put the thermometer on it. Even on a dull day like today, there is like a five to 10 degree change just from getting some solar radiation. So a um, couple things that we just planted, uh, the broccoli not coming up yet. Yeah, there's one, one little, plant coming up of the broccoli. Um, the other stuff, what have I got back here? I turned these, so, oh, this is for the uh, the wildflower area for our milkweed for monarchs. These are some uh, native Minnesota plants, haven't quite come up yet. The middle two trays here are peppers, and they're just starting to come up. You can see the uh, jalapenos, they are the first ones to come up every year. Um, the rest of the stuff that is starting to come up in here, um, let me see if I can zoom in. I don't zoom in often with this camera, but there's a couple of sprouts coming up for the yellow and orange, and then just the regular green peppers coming up. And over here, we've got all the poblanos, habaneros, uh, Hungarian wax, that kind of thing. So they're just starting to come up. They'll get once they come up uh, like this, then we'll move them downstairs. Here's a tray that is half. Uh, what is that? That's uh, uh, well, they're both milkweed varieties. Here's the normal milkweed up here. The these nine are normal milkweed, and this is the uh, butterfly weed. Jeez, couldn't think of that butterfly weed. So that's coming up a lot quicker. And earlier and then down on the end here is uh, what is that oh some more uh, native plants so a lot of stuff um, we keep everything upstairs until it's maybe a half inch to an inch tall and then it goes downstairs let me take you downstairs uh, let me cut here quick we'll go downstairs and I'll show you some of the stuff that uh, has achieved that and is now under the lights I'll be right back all right, I'm downstairs. Here's where everything gets finished off before it goes outside. 
So uh, I want to show you um, the stuff that has achieved height and we've got it at diff different heights. I try to, my lights are not adjustable up and down. They are adhered to this, the shelving unit that I've got here. Um, something I'd like to work on is adjusting the lights to go up and down. But right now I'm using tubs and tubs and stuff to put them on to get them right up against the lighting. As they get taller, I'm moving them to other things. So you can see, uh, let's see if I can get this, uh, some of the grasses that are coming up here. Um, these are native uh, grasses for the native area. We've got our uh, Napa cabbage that uh, I have an extra six plants there and then a bunch of different tomatoes. Now I've got uh, San Marzano, uh, th I'm looking to get three plants of each. San Marzano, Jersey Devil, um, Amish Paste, and then some cherry, uh, black cherry and all. So we're hoping to get three plants of each of those. They've come up and they're looking for the light. Um, down here is our, uh, just emerged the other day, but I wanted to get it under the light. And that is the cauliflower, so that's starting. And then the one that's really taken off, more Napa cabbage, an entire flat of Napa cabbage. We want to make some uh, kimchi. So we've got that, that's underneath the, that's the tallest, so it's furthest away from the light, um, but just trying to keep it there. The next step for this stuff is out to the uh, chicken coop, the outdoor coop that is not being used, uh, the coop and the run. Um, I've got a table out there. Uh, we had a couple days where it was really nice and uh, sunny, and I moved it out there. A um, couple of the flats, the, the cabbage, that's what we do to harden off the plants. I want some wind on these plants. I want, uh, you know, wind and sun, partial sun. Um, and I think I'm going to do a video about hardening off plants just so you get an idea for what that is. Because um, we haven't done it right in the past and we've paid for it. So um, get the stuff outside the wind, those little micro vibrations, they call them, with the winds hitting it. That strengthens up the uh, plant. Uh, keeps it from growing and you know really exploding vertically uh, and being weak, uh, but it strengthens the plant. I'm thinking by the end of the week, temperatures at night and during the day are going to be above freezing, at least for about four or five days. So I think I'm going to bring some of the stuff outside, especially this cabbage, maybe the broccoli and cauliflower, the cold weather stuff. Bring that outside. Let it sit outside. Get those vibrations. Get the the sunshine coming through and get it ready to be out in the garden. I'm itching to get things out in the garden. Um, anyways, that's what we've been up to. Um, look for a video later this week about our live event coming up and uh, a chance for you to win some prizes. We've got some a big event coming up uh, for the channel. We've hit uh, some milestones here, are going to hit some milestones, and uh, we're excited about it. So anyways, the garden has started, uh, both the wildflowers and the vegetables, and we're, we're getting going. Thanks for everybody for watching. We're, we're not dead. We've just been really busy. Everybody take care.